Welcome back to the Buckeye Street Wells. Today we're taking a look here at UP 1943, the spirit of Sierra Pacific. Leading the way on X-132 from Aaron Warbler Drive. Make sure we're always supporting our troops in U.S. Navy and Air Force. And the reason why we decided to come to the Owens, it's because the morning that I woke up, that we, I just gave you some heads up that X-132 will be sitting at the Owens for quite a while. So I decided to head over there, and there was a crew van waiting for X-132. So I quickly mind to myself, the crew is ready for X-132. So I would get the C-1943 once again. It would come to require the day before we would catch it now. I would hear it going on to 132, which is an extra, from Avon to Walwood, Ohio. They wouldn't get a crew all day till till midnight. So we're lucky that it sat here for quite a while. Usually 132 sits here for a long time without crew. Luckily it did the same thing here. So we're lucky to get it today. So 132 was my high quality catch of the day. Okay, here's, here comes the end of X-132. It's a very long track <laughs> to be an extra 132. We chased him to Wallbridge, got my picture and video, but then we kept getting other things to the radio and we got other to get. We get to Miraberry and, well... This happened. 
Now we're well fitted on the Chicago line. So, the Jif guy here, and then with this and the Animal going eastbound on the Chicago line. And then we end up hearing a NS310 with an Executive Max. It's been a while since I've seen an Executive Max, so I thought it's cool to see. My friend heard something on the radio that they just called Clear 82. And all of us were like, what? That's impossible, because I didn't hear it on my scanner. How did he get it from his? Well, we end up just. Because we can replay the audio recording from the scanner, from the railroad frequency on his scanner, so we heard it back and then he was right. And now we're here getting NS310. So we heard a, on a radio that a westbound was clearing at milepost 272. Didn't know you would get it that quick. But I guess we weren't too far from that milepost to see at 280. That shit we were at basically 280 and 281. So we didn't took that long at all since he's an interval. I have no idea what the symbol on this one will be, but as an ACC leader, and I got it with the drone, I was flying it for 310 and then getting it with this one, so that's been cool. One of my friends ended up leaving after this animal to go by, and the others, me and my other buddies, went to Vigors for quite a while, so we decided to head over there. And triple three from Detroit, Michigan to Bowie, Ohio. It's a 333 symbol, but a crew on this one called it triple three since it's three threes. So they decided just to call it that. Which is kind of cool. We were all like, what? Usually they just call it 333 which is what I've been used to in the Toledo area and Detroit area. But, it's whatever, because crews can do whatever they want, call the symbols whatever. Unless it's weird, but they don't. But, 
sense is the purple for me I do understand that. After getting that triple three, it would be some time that we would get another train. Till right now. But after getting this intermodal, it would tie down for a bit. So we decided just to head south on a road and head over to Walbridge. See what we could find. To see where 1943 is at. I was honestly a pretty good call. Because we wouldn't miss anything. Yeah. Uh, we
So it would be obvious that we would find 1943 again. But this time it's paired with a couple jeeps. So he ain't gonna be moving anytime soon. We checked out a crossing just south of the yard and the defect detector went off. 85 cell phone on the Pemberwell. We sat here for 30 minutes. Nothing besides wedge signals. And then we thought, man, this is the long turn to be at. So we decided to head back to Figures, where it would be busy again. We just got to Figures again in a westbound 11N approaching 285. After getting 11N, we wouldn't see a trend for a bit. But for opposite reasons, I was picking up some other stuff from the radio. So I don't know what that about. Here comes NS380 with NS4005 trailing second. Heading for Bowling, Ohio. The 4005 that I was given recent heads up about on NS380, it recently head to Chicago on 26C a couple days ago. Now it's on NS380 in Chicago to Bowling. I thought he was leaving, but it's true. We were already out in well fitting since we got 1943 earlier. And we're still gonna be out for a bit. And we may as well, since we're out here still, we may as well just get it. But, we're well fitting for the rest of the time. Let's buy other buddies here at the Junction.
a bit and then we get a westbound after getting that 380. It would be some time and then getting this in a mortal would be 30 minutes after waiting. I would thought this would be the last train for the day but it is not going to be. After this one we do have one more that might be 23G after this one going by. It had a AC44C6M, 4573, and then 1076. I have seen those units before, but the 45273 in CSX.
we get that green signal right there. And it would be 10 minutes after the other one went by. Five minutes after, we see a headlight up here going by Cherry Street. And now, calling signals at 285. So 23G01. So this is a pretty long 23G. And I don't have very much battery level on the camcorder. So I'm just like doing video parts of this 23G. It's nothing I can do. I should have charged it a little while ago. But whatever. It's not like it's 1943. I kind of did that before we caught 1943, but I charged it here and there. So it's like charged then. But now it's about to die completely. With and maybe like five minutes. So that's why I kept like not recorded and like turning off the camcorder and then once the DPU comes I turn it back on. Here comes the mid GPU of the 23G. 23G usually has mid GPU on this type of animal model. Anywho, if you guys really enjoyed today's video of 1943 and the second back in 4005 and the other whale thing that we did today, make sure to comment and like it. Thank you, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the Michigan State or the Buckeye State Wells.